What's up everyone? Welcome to Esports Weekly with Coca-Cola. As always, let's recap the week's news with a refresh. MLG held its 100th event last weekend in New Orleans, and the biggest news came from the Super Smash Bros. 4 event. Gonzalo Barrio, TSM Zero, has been on a tear, winning 55 consecutive tournament matches that included only two set losses during that time. But all that came to an end at MLG when Nairobi Quezada, Liquid Nairo, came back through the lower bracket with Zero Suit Samus to defeat Zero twice in the grand finals. Nairo's teammate on Liquid, Hungrybox, won the Super Smash Bros. melee side of MLG, and he told us, obviously it's a great feeling. Of course, the win wasn't enough for me, not yet. My next goal is beating Mango again and turning the tables finally against Armada and Leffen. I want those wins badly because then I know it's the world I am defeating. At League of Legends Worlds, Origin has advanced past Yoey Flashwolves to face SK Telecom T1 in the semifinals. Fnatic and Koo Tigers are playing in the other semifinal this weekend in Brussels. Also, Riot announced that they would be disabling champions Gragas, Lux, and Ziggs for the remainder of the tournament after Fnatic reign over experienced a bug in which Gragas' barrel roll couldn't be reactivated. With Gragas out of the champion pool, this means that only Elise and Rek'Sai remain as top-tier junglers in the tournament, meaning we could see some less standard jungler picks for the rest of the event. Matthew Nachot Haig posted that his biggest regret ever was leaving Twitch TV as a streamer. Call of Duty has been a mainstay of esports tournaments for years, but recently has decreased in popularity. Haig attributes this in large part to he and his fellow pro players siloing competitive Call of Duty content away from other esports content by leaving Twitch. And finally, Na'Vi has announced that they are disbanding their Dota 2 team. Na'Vi initially had a ton of success in Dota 2, winning the first international and placing second at two others. After losing Puppy and Kuroki in 2014, their results have been inconsistent at best, and they most recently failed to qualify for the Frankfurt Major. Dendi and Seneko announced that they would be reforming the team after testing out new candidates, and they've tentatively announced that they're testing out a roster of Dendi, Seneko, their old teammate Funnick, Always Wanna Fly, and Ditya Ra, but that has not been confirmed as their permanent roster yet. Well, that's your Esports Weekly Refresh. As always, we want to hear what you thought of the stories. Get at us by hashtagging Esports Weekly on Twitter to let us know what you want to see.